Hi, this is going to be a short video showing how to migrate the menu from the auto settings example project into your own project. This isn't actually required to use the plugin. You can just install the plugin and place widgets in your own menu. But if you want to start from the exact setup in the example project, this will show you how to do it. Now, hopefully I don't have to change much in this process going forward, but definitely check the page for the example project in the documentation to make sure you have the latest information. Now I'm just going to use the uh, third person template for this, but it shouldn't really matter what you're migrating it to. In your own project, make sure the plugin is enabled and note the version number. Here you can see I'm on 1.4. Now of course you'll need the latest version of the example project for the version of the plugin you're using. Head to the documentation, which you can get to from the marketplace page. And on the versions page, you'll find compatibility between plugin engine and example project versions. Since I'm on plugin version 1.4 and engine version 4.20 for this, I want 1.4.0.1 for the example project. The project can be downloaded from this link on the marketplace page. Just gonna hit download and extract it. And once you have the project files, the first thing you want to do is copy the relevant config data across to your own project. Open default game and copy this auto settings config section to the one in your project. And in default gameplay tags, you have to copy the tag definitions. Or in this case, the project doesn't have that file, so I'll just copy the whole thing. But if you already had that file, you just want to copy the tags. Now, if you have your own project open, you want to close it since the config any files only take effect once the engine is loaded. Now load up the example project. Once it's loaded, go to the UI folder, right click the settings UI widget, and choose migrate. And then select the content folder for your own project. This should copy the file and all of its dependencies across. Then if you want to use the input button icons from the example project, you want to do the same thing with the uh, button icons folder as well. Now head back to your own project and open it up. Now for some reason, the migration copies these files from the plugin as well, but we don't need them so we can just delete them. At this point, we'll need a way to actually open the UI in game. You can do this however you want, but I'm going to copy the logic in the player controller across. Now I'm going to head back to the example project, open the player controller. I'm going to copy all of this. And you might have your own player controller already, but the third person template doesn't. So I'm just going to create a new one. and just paste it in there. Now this is supposed to create the settings UI widget here. I'm not sure why it didn't copy that reference. It's also expecting an input action to exist. So I'm gonna create that. Call it open settings. I'm going to bind it to E like in the example project. And also gamepad special right. Uh, 
and it looks like we need to create a variable for this too. Cool, so that should work now. Now since I added a player controller just now, I actually have to set that in the game mode so it's actually used. The other thing I'm going to create is a game instance. Again, you might already have one of your own, but this template doesn't. So set that in the project settings. Now I'm going to go to the example project game instance and copy all of this custom setting logic into the one in my project. And that should just compile. You'll also want to set up the audio levels here to use the sound classes and sound mixes from your own project. These just update the volume of a sound mix when the console variable changes. Another thing would be to copy the character setting implementations if you want those. So just copy these callbacks here on begin play into your own character. And this needs to be the third person follow camera and not the first person camera. Now the last thing would be to set up the input page with the input names for your project if they're not the same as the defaults. Since the example project inputs are the same as the third person template, I don't have to change them here. And that should be it. So just give it a test. So yeah, that's everything involved. If you run into any issues getting this working, post on the forum thread or on the Discord and I'll do my best to help out. Hope that helps. See you next time.